This is going to be a quick tutorial on the line layout application on the PLC 300 associated with the PLT 300 for Hilti. Uh, line layout is a really nice tool because it can give you specific offsets from lines on your drawing or even ones that you just create. So I'm going to go ahead and go to line layout. It asks you to select the job you're in. Um, and usually this is going to require you to either set up your station. So for instance, if I want to do... Um, if I want to, if I want to uh, have the tool direct me to a specific line on my site, I would uh, set up my station, and and then I can go ahead and go into my CAD, and it'll tell me exactly where my where I fall on a specific line. I already set up a station for my current drawing, so I'll go to station 10, and I want my reference line to be from my drawing. I can say from points, and from points, I just have to go in here and tell the points that I wanted to select. So I'll select two points and it'll give me a line right, below, right between those two points. But most times, people just go ahead and say, I'm gonna go from a station, I wanna do it from a drawing, and all you have to do is select a, a line on your drawing, and it's gonna tell you, okay, well, here you are. If you wanna get onto that line, you have to be kinda of close, so there I am. I'm basically on the line, I'm gonna say check, and now it's gonna give me my direct reads in my top left corner of exactly where I am for my zero, zero, and my zero, zero is right here at the bottom of the line, to the north so I know that I'm exactly seven feet seven one eighths inches above the line from my north and I'm barely off of it by about a uh, one quarter of an inch to the left so it's really nice I can select any line I want on here and it'll direct me right to it I'll go to this line it tells me uh, it flips my drawing around a little bit and it tells me that I now need to walk well, it tells me I'm exactly seven feet seven one sixteen inches off of it on my on on its negative eastings. Um, so, one fun thing that I can do with this is on the top right here, I can go to. I want it to tell me to go to a specific point. I want my, let's say, I want to go two feet north of my line, and I want to go three feet off, positive three feet off. It's now going to guide me to that specific spot, and now I'm just maneuvering my prism to lock right on in there. And as you get closer and closer, it gets tighter and tighter, you have to be a lot closer, but right now I'm three inches, I need to go three inches back and I'm about five inches east and I'm there. I'm five inches, excuse me, three inches east and five inches north and I'm there, that's what, is how that reads, according to the line. Um, I can say, take me to a new point, or I can say, hey, take me back to my line, and it'll just start leading me, let me uh, zoom out here. Lead me right back to where my actual line is. Okay. This is where I want to go to a specific point, and this is where I just want to make sure I get right back onto my line, wherever that is. And this is where I can tap and say, hey, take me to a specific actual coordinate on that line. All right, so I'm going to go to zero, zero. Press enter. Oops, not zero, 30. I'll say zero, zero. All right, and now it's gonna guide me to zero, zero, or just guide you right back onto the line and tell you where you are in your line. You can save it to record and, and get some data, um, but that's just a super convenient way of using that tool. If I went into the, if I went in here and I said, okay, I want to, I'm set up and I wanna measure a line. All I do here is, you see in the bottom right, I have a measurement. I go anywhere on my, on my, on my drawing, I measure one point, Measure my next point. And it, it'll give me a, a quick line right there on along there. So that's convenient if you have two spots that you haven't measured on your drawing and you need to, and you can measure them really quick and there you go. You're good to go. It creates some measured points for you and now you have a line that you can start working with. You can start putting your offsets in, whatever you need. So let me get out of that, I'll back out. You can even go in here and do with two points. And all that is you measure one point randomly again this is a, this is really doesn't matter if you have your drawing in there or not I'll go to my next point randomly you wouldn't be random on your site but this is for demo and there you go now you have your line uh, just go anywhere along the line from your northern your eastern your my zero zero is way back here where I started okay and again now I can edit my line I can tell my line that hey I want uh, my line to be offset uh, three feet north my zero zero to be three feet north and my line to to also be a little bit to six feet to the east. Okay, so now my line has moved three feet north 
and six feet east from where I first did it. Okay, I can now move that line back to zero, zero. It'll take me back to where I originally drew it in. Um, I can also find a point on the line. I can say, hey, take me to a specific point along this line. I'll just type in, I'll say, I wanna go five feet up and five feet east, which is basically where I am right now. Let me just go back. There I am, okay. If I wanna go back to see the line, I just tap that point. Now I know where I am in relation to the line. I wanna go back to see where I am in relation to the point. There I go. If I wanna go back and just kinda of find the line again, there I am. So it's a really convenient way to find and find your offsets and determine where you wanna go along that line. Um, it's probably even more convenient than using line transfer because in line transfer, all it is you measure one point and another and it doesn't tell you your zero, zero. It just gives you a line and it gives you your it gives you your easting and that's it. it. Gives you your easting north and south. It lets you rotate the line and lets you um, create a new reference line, create your offsets. But basically, using line layout is a much more convenient tool to use. Because uh, even when you use two points, you can measure one point and measure another point. And even if you're not stationed on a specific job, you can automatically start asking it to tell you your offsets from that. So really convenient. If I wanted to do um, three points, all the three points is, is I go into three points. Notice on the drawing, it kind of helps you understand how it works. You measure point one, I'm gonna measure point one. I'm gonna measure point two. Okay, now the reason I needed to do measure three is because it's trying to find your zero, zero. Your one is not your zero, zero. Your two is not your zero, zero. But it's along the line that you're trying to measure. Your three, you're going to move to a specific point perpendicular to that line. And it's going to say, okay, your point three is now going to measure this. It's going to take this distance, go to that point, and it's going to create that intersection as your new zero, zero. Okay, so this is really good if you have a column that you want it to be your zero, zero, but you can't access it, but you know the line. You go to the left of the column, the right of the column, and then you go to a point perpendicular to that column, and it puts a, your zero, zero right at the center of that column for your convenience. And you can just go right off that, create your offsets, create your points. So really, really convenient application, especially when, you're, uh, when, you're, when you have grid lines to work off of, or even not, you know, just really convenient application.